So when the battle might not come back When the boots hit the ground You can't stop us now The prophets in your town We here to shut it down When the boots hit the ground when them boots hit the ground, all sinners should stop now When them boots hit the ground, you can't stop us now The prophets in your town, be here to shut it down When them boots hit the ground When them boots hit the ground, all coolers should stop now When them boots hit the ground, you can't stop us now The prophets in your town, we here to shut it down When them boots hit the ground when them boots hit the ground, all sinners should stop now When them boots hit the ground, you can't stop us now The prophets in your town, we here to shut it down When them boots hit the ground When them boots hit the ground, all coolers should stop now It's time for the war cry What is God to you? Let's get uh, Genesis 3, 32 and 28. You, you see yourself on this sign, right? Okay, so let's see what Israel means. Let's see who God is to you. That ain't what he asked. Genesis 32, he said about verse Israel. 28. He said, what is God? You about to see what God is. Uh -huh. And he said, now he's talking to the is. father of this tribe, and Israel. And he said, they shall be called no more Jacob. So his name is not going to be called no more Jacob, but Israel. So what? But Israel. Israel. His name will be called you. brother. Yo, that's called right. Israel. That's you know, blacks and Hispanics, right your there. true nationality that's is the right nation there. of Israel. Right. 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 Let's see what Israel means. Hey, brother. Let's see what Israel means. Read. For as a prince, as a white, for as a prince, as a white, for as a prince. Read on. Has the power with God. So so he's hey, a brother, demon. you are the prince oh, of God. That's who you are. He's a demon. That's what God means to you. He's your power. He's See? your God. Get Joel 2:27. Bring it out. Joel 2:27. Bring it out. The word Israel means prince of God. That's who you are. So let's see what else God means to you. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. Joel chapter 2 and verse 27. Hey, brothers, let me know if your church is teaching you this. Read. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. The Bible says God is in the midst of Israel. That's right. So called black And that I am the Lord. Your God. That I am what? I am the Lord. Your God. Read it up. And none else. That's right. And none else. That's who you are. The right. prince that has power with God. And he's the Lord your God. And none else. That's right. That's right. right. Okay. But get Jeremiah 5 and 25. Bring it up. Jeremiah 5 and 25. Bring it up. But let's see what's the problem with our people. Okay. Jeremiah oh, yeah, 5 and 25. Like I said. Jeremiah. Chapter 5 and verse 25. Listen uh -huh. close, brother. I'm talking to you. Okay, come I'm on. I'm talking to you, brother. Listen. Your iniquities have turned away these things. Your That's sins test. have what? Turned away these things. Uh-huh. And your sins have turned away from you. Read that last part again. And your sins. Read that last part again. And your sins. Have behold withholding good things from you. So the Bible says your sins have withholding good things from you. Yeah. That's why when you look around upon our people, still today, 400 years later, we still walk around talking about, listen, white man, our lives matter. Hey, don't know. don't shoot us down in the street because we matter. Hey. But guess what? When you realize who you are, that you're the children of God. You're worried about getting with your people. Yeah, You're not sure. worried about what the so-called white man thinks. But guess yeah. what? That's in the Bible too. Let's get that. Zechariah 11. Yeah, sure. Because yeah. you being shot down in the street and your, uh, your oppressor getting off is written in the Bible. Why? Because yeah. this is your book. Yeah. This is your book. Okay? Hey, brother, did you have a question? No question? Hey, I, did you? I had one. What's going on? Uh, Okay. 
Zechariah. God made me. Right. Where did the slave come from? Where did the slave come from? Come on. Men be good to slave, but the kind be good to master so Okay, now before you came, we showed everybody out here why we went into slavery. Now, we went into slavery for what? My brother can tell you. From what? Why did we go into slavery, bro? For breaking God's laws. You see that? That's, that's how slavery happened to us. Uh huh. But some things are questioning because they say don't add to a right. Don't add to or take from. Well, see, we got the King James 1611. All those other translations is the, the for you to not understand who you are according to the Bible. Read that real quick. See if this resonates to, with you. Zechariah 11 and 5. Yeah. Zechariah chapter 11 and verse 5. Uh -huh. Whose possessors, whose possessors, meaning uh, oppressors, slave masters, read. Whose possessors slay them? They do what? Slay them, meaning kill them, and hold themselves not guilty. They do what? And hold themselves not guilty. Is that not what our people is going on today? If we if we get pulled over for a random uh, uh, traffic stop and get shot, is that cop going to jail? No. Wonder why he's not going to jail? Because the Bible said he was not. Because guess what? The children of Israel must come back to their power. Right, must right, come right. back to their God. Right, and right. that's who protects us. Get that in Judith 5. Bring Judith 5 out. and 20. That's right. Let's find out where our protection is, brother. The book of Judith chapter 5. And we're going to deal. You got another question? Now, we out here teaching repentance. You say you've been dealing with the Bible for a long time. Have you repented? Okay, so do you know repentant, repentance is not breaking God's law? Okay, did you know right now your beard being gone is a transgression of God's law? Did you know that? I've never seen that, but now look at this. I'll show it to you. Let me give you Okay. Hey, hold on one sec. Let me get this. We'll, let, we was going to find out what our protection is. Read. Judah, chapter 5 and verse 20. Uh -huh. Now, therefore... My Lord and Governor, if there be any error in this people, and they sin against their God, and they do what? Sin against their God. Now this is a king coming to destroy Israel. He said, if there be any error in this people, and they do what? Sin against their God, uh -huh. let us consider that this shall be their ruin. This will be their destruction when they what? sin against their God. Read on. And let us go up, and we shall overcome them. So, the, even the nations know, if they keep us in sin, they can overcome us. That's, right. That's why there's been no change, because there's been no coming back to God's laws. Right now, right after this, right after this verse. Verse 21. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, uh -huh. let my Lord now pass by. So if there's no sin in this nation, Lord, pass by. Leave them alone. Read. Let the Lord defend them. Let the what? Let the Lord defend them. The, the, the God of Israel will defend them once they keep in his commandments. What was your question? This is uh, the Judith chapter 5 and verse 20. It's in the proper Okay, when you get a 1611 uh, version Bible, the first King James, that is in there. Okay, they took it out. Exactly. They took a lot of books out. Okay, let's get the beer for the brother. Let's get the beer for the brother. I've been on dialysis for 14 years. Uh-huh. I teach it now. Okay. But I've learned that when you read the Bible, you can take it out. It's all a lesson. It's all what? It's a lesson. Yeah. Okay. I'm blessed to be here because he's blessed me to be a part of his program. Okay, now this is what so we every, saying. Look at this. Every morning I wake up, this is my prayer. I say, me and God have this agreement. Uh-huh. That if he wakes me up another day, you can hold that, you get, uh, I promise to be John better than I was yesterday. John Nunn. You catch that? All right. If, if, if he wakes me up another day, I promise to be better than I was yesterday. So I try to do better every day. Okay, now check this out. Check this out. What we, what we out here teaching our people is guess what? 
we've That's been awake. Dope. Just like you learn from dialysis, now you teach it. Now it's time to come back and learn this Bible and teach it in its proper context. Now, now you say you pray, right? You pray every day. Listen to this. John chapter 9 and verse 31. Uh -huh. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. That what? God heareth not sinners. The Bible says if you in sin and you sinning, he does not hear you. So guess what? Our prayers is going to void if we are in the midst of sin. Hold, hold that proverb. Now listen, we about to we about to test you right now. Check this out. Proverbs 28 and uh, 28 and 9. Check this out, brother. We about to see. We about to see because I'm gonna give you a law and let's see if you reject it. Read that. Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 28. And verse 13. And verse 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. So the Bible says if you turn away your ear, you don't want to hear God's laws. He that turneth away his ears from hearing the law, even his prayers shall be an abomination. The Lord said if you don't want to hear his laws, your prayers are disgusting. He don't even, he don't even want to hear them. Now let's get that law I told you about, the beard. Leviticus 21. We about to bring out a law right now. Exactly. Now check this out. Let's see if you uh, can humble down to this law. Because guess what? We teaching out here that repentance is you actually changing. So when we bring this law to you, when, next time you come and I see you, we're going to see if you change that thing. Read. Oh my God. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Uh -huh. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So the Bible says you cannot make baldness upon your head, meaning razor baldness. Okay? Oh. Now, if you're going bald naturally, you clean. But you're not supposed to make baldness upon your head. Read. Neither shall they shave off. The corner of their beard. The Bible says don't shave off the corner of your beard. Now, is that a law that you're willing to apply now that you've heard it? So, so you say yes. Yeah. Now, you, did you, wait, wait. Did you say yeah? Okay, now that's true repentance. Now, watch what happened. What you got? 37 years in prison. 37 years in prison. I've been out about a year. You've been out about a year. Okay, okay, check this out. Check this out, brother. Now you out. That's now it's time for you to take hold of God's law so you can get back to your power. So guess what? We teaching that you're from the nation of Israel, brother. You you missed it. I, I brought it out to these brothers. Okay, so you're from the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. You're from Judah. So it's time for you to apply God's law. Get that in. Uh, wait, what was I going? Bring it up. Bring it up. Leviticus, I mean, you know, required. Deuteronomy 10. No, our, we, we don't have our hands saved. We keep God's laws. Let's get this. Now listen. Now listen. Now my brother here knows he's an Israelite. My brother here knows he's an Israelite. My brother here knows he's an Israelite. So now, what does the Lord require of you? Let's read it. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Uh -huh. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord that God require of thee? You, you notice how I said, now Israel? Remember when I was talking about the first step of repentance is knowing that you're from the nation of Israel? Read that again. Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Uh -huh. And now, Israel. It says, now Israel, because he's only your God. Repentance is only for you. Read. What doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? Now, what does God require of you? Let's find out. Bring it up. But to fear the Lord uh -huh. thy God, to walk in all of his ways, uh -huh. and to love him, uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. And the Bible's about to explain how to do that with the next verse. Read. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. No, I got my own personal relationship with him. Hallelujah. I love him how I feel. And his statutes. Read that part again. 
and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. So, how, what's the Lord require you? To keep his law and statutes and commandments. That's, right. That's, That's what we out here teaching today. Right. Now get, uh, what was his commandment? get the uh, color of Christ Come real on. quick. Come on, what's his commandment? We just Where's gave the right? brother a commandment, all right? No. You have any more questions? Which it said, though, about God destructive stuff, that perfect example was Sodom and Gomorrah. Exactly. Uh, That's coming. Don't see that. It's oh, coming here, brother. Get Isaiah 9 and 5. Get Isaiah 9 and 5. Listen. Bring it out. We are out here to warn you that what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah is coming here. This is what we screaming out loud for. For our people to change for that time come. That's right. Read 9 and 5. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. The Bible says all the battles that's been up to now has been with confused noise. People getting shot, screaming, swords, everybody screaming and dying, legs getting cut off. It's been with confused noise. Read it again. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. Read on. And garments rolled in blood. And garments rolled in blood. Because when you get shot, you bleeding. When you get stabbed, you are bleeding. Read on. Read it out. But this shall be with burning. But this war to come with burning and fuel of fire. See that? The Bible says the war that's coming is burning and fuels of fire. Get First Peter that 3 and 10. Read it out. Or 2 Peter 3 and 10. That's what we're warning you about. Because guess what? Bombs are prophesied in the Bible. That's right. Okay, this is a book of prophecy. This ain't no book that this is supposed to be collecting dust for you Israelites. That's for the right. other nations, they can do what they want. That's but right. for you, you must apply. That's right. Read. Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 10. Uh-huh. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. So God's destruction is going to come like a thief in the night. Meaning what? When you least expect it. When you're sitting there thinking everything's going as planned. Everything's going the same way. Like a thief in the night. Read. In the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise. With a great what? With a great noise. Boom! That's what the Bible is talking about. Now, I'm asking you, brother, yes. are those type of uh, weaponry, is that here today? Do countries have this? So a Bible written thousands and thousands of years ago is telling you about this. That's why we follow this Bible. Because guess what? That only the nation of Israel is going to be able to understand this Bible. Read. And the elements shall melt with fervent Heat. What's going to happen to America with fervent heat? It's going to melt with fervent heat, okay? So let's get uh, Romans 12. So what is this change that we must do, my brothers? Bring it out. Let's find out. Romans Bring 12 and verse 2. Bring it out. Because, hey, we've been we've been trying the same things forever. Asking, yeah, yeah, asking, yeah, yeah. asking who? Asking the politicians uh to, to have mercy on us, to give right. us schools, to give us jobs. Right. Hold that get uh, Zephaniah 2. Hold right. that get okay. Zephaniah 2. What's your question, brother? About baptism. Baptism. So, so, so we repent, but what about baptism? Okay, let's get that. Uh, Second Peter's. Or is that First Peter? Sin. 3 and 21. We about to get it. Okay, what about baptism? Okay, I'm going to show you what baptism that's is. That's okay, because a lot of... Right. Because, because Acts, right, uh, 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 says that we should repent, but also we have to be baptized in the name of Jesus. What? And then we hey, come on, brother. Right? Hey, hey, come listen. On, brother. We about to, listen, I'm about to get it for you. Now, check it. That's an excellent question, and you came to the right place. You said repent, but that's what happened. Hey, hey, listen, listen, all right, brother, you ask your question, I'm, I got you, I got you. Now check this out, in the churches, you got thousands of people, every corner, getting dipped in water and coming out the same damn demon, okay? So that water does not change you. We about to find out what changed you. Let's find out what Christ said, how he was going to baptize. Read. First Peter, 
chapter 3 and verse 21. The like figure whereof the even baptism do it also now save us. So baptism does save us. We're supposed to get baptized, but guess what, brother? Read. Hey, read. Not the putting away of the filth of the flood. Now what? Not the putting away of the filth of the flood. So when you get when you go to clean your flesh, what do you use? Brother, when you go to clean your flesh, what do you use? Okay, so it says not to put away the filth of the flesh, read. Watch this. Not to put away the filth of the flesh, uh -huh. but the answer of a good conscience toward God. So an answer of a good conscience towards God. That's the change we're talking about. Now let's get uh, Ephesians 5. Now, wait, wait, bro. I'm going to teach you and then I'm going to let you, I'm gonna let you uh, come right back. We about to find out what the water is according to the Bible. Now remember, John said what? Wait. So are you saying that baptism is not I'm trying to show you, but I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you. And then once we done, your question is coming. Read. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the water. So the Bible says that he might sanctify and cleanse you with what? With the washing of the water by the word. The washing of water by what? By the word. So that's what cleanses us today by changing to God's word. We about to, listen, what, Isaiah 1 and, 1 and, 1 and 16. No, okay. Isaiah 1 and 16. That was Ephesians 5 and 26. That was 1 Peter 3, 21. Uh-huh. Baptism saved, right? But what about Mark 16, Get Mark 1 and 8. Watch this, brother. You got to listen. You got to listen because guess what? We're here to teach you. But you got to listen. Let's see what John Let's see what John said himself. Mark, Mark 1 and 8. Mark, Mark, chapter 1 and verse 8. I indeed have baptized you with water. So who was baptizing with water? Read it again. I indeed have baptized you with water. So John baptized with water. But let's read on. But, but he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. But what? The Holy Ghost. So he, meaning Christ, is going to, listen, brother, will baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Okay? Now let's see how, brother, let's see how John baptized real quick. Okay? Let's get John 4.1. Let's see if Christ baptized anybody. And he's going to tell you, let, he's going to tell you how, how you are clean. Just listen. John, chapter 4, and verse 1. Hold on, one sec, one sec. Hey, hey. Alright, hey, brother, we got you. Listen up. John chapter 4 and verse 1. When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John. So, hey, so listen close. Listen close, brother. Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John. Read on. Though Jesus himself, so though Jesus himself baptized not, though Jesus himself what baptized not, uh -huh. but his disciples, so his disciples baptized. Jesus did not. Now guess what? Now let's see how Jesus said you are made clean. Get that fifteen and three. Hey, we gonna get it from Christ's voice, brother. No, but listen, we on the same subject. I told you. I, we told you out of the Bible that you, brother, brother, listen, listen, okay, listen real quick, I'm about to show you, now, the Bible, we showed you that you were made clean by the word, now let's see what Christ said, if anything changed, what, what's going on, I'm about to show you, John just said he will baptize you with the Holy Ghost, correct, okay, I'm going to show you how to get the gift of the Holy Ghost. Read. 
Bring it up. John, hey, chapter hey, 15. Brother. This is Christ speaking right here. Read. John, chapter 15, and verse 3. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Read it again. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Isaiah 1 and 16. So Christ himself said, you are clean by the word which I have spoken unto you. See, I told you. This is, I'm, uh, all right. This one's going to come a little clear for you. I'm about, I'm about to show you. Read. Isaiah chapter 1. Hey, brother, all you got to do is listen. I, I, you've been listening, but now all of a sudden, you think we're going to come out here and tell you something that's against what you're supposed to be doing for repentance? We came out here to teach repentance, brother. Hey, but, but listen, you're not reading Acts 3, Acts 2, 38, where it says, Repent. All right, all right, all right, check this out. Read. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 16. Uh -huh. Wash you, make you clean. So the Bible says to wash you, make you clean. Put away the evil of your doing. Do what? Put away the evil of your doing. Okay, so what's your problem? Being washed by the word. Yeah, X one. Now listen, what we out here telling you is, you can go get dipped in water if you want to. That is not sin. But that is not what's going to change our people. Yeah. Applying the laws of God is what's going to change our people. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates from all our YouTube channels. Shalom.